in a frustrating turn of events for customers, and even that of European plane maker Airbus, they've announced during their first quarter results that a new aircraft and the latest addition to the A350 family, that being the A350 freighter, will see its entry into service date slip towards 2026 a year later than initially expected. The entry into service date, or more commonly EIS, has slipped following what Airbus cites as industrial planning for the variant, with not much else really being revealed. It also comes off the back of the very first components for the A350F by Airbus Atlantic arriving in France. This was naturally a momentous occasion for the European aircraft manufacturer, as they were finally able to really announce to the world the arrival of the A350F. News though of its delay is further negative, and the company would have no doubt liked to have avoided it where possible. While delays are frustrating, and now 2026 has been earmarked as the updated entry into service year, changes can also come at any moment. And we are so early into this variant, and so far away from realistically the launch, that further delays could very easily come. Take the Airbus A321 XLR, or Extra Long Range, as a perfect example. What seemed to be on course for a 2023 entry into service has been delayed to 2024, with relatively late on issues being identified in the certification program. Especially with tight plans nowadays to certify aircraft, it totally isn't out of the realm to always expect the unexpected, with such a heightened focus following the MAX crisis over at Boeing to be put on ensuring aircraft are fit to fly and enter service and fly missions with customers, whether it is for passenger or freighter missions. Travel is absolutely booming and the summer season is coming, the perfect time to plan a getaway. Thanks to NordVPN, you can actually travel booking sites around the globe searching for the best fare possible, and better yet, you'll be protected when you're travelling on those holidays all with NordVPN, who were tested and proven to be the fastest VPN out there. Nord also has threat protection, offering you comprehensive security against cyber threats, which means they do block you from trackers, malicious ads, and from visiting harmful websites. I like to think those harmful websites as overly priced flight sites. With that being said, like a perfect airline, NordVPN continues to innovate, which is definitely something you want in a brand and especially a VPN as you can consistently look towards new features launching. I've got a deal for you today, which is a two-year plan and four, and that's four free months of NordVPN by using www.nordvpn forward slash DJ's Aviation. It's risk-free and you have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Seeming that the delayed entry into service was revealed in Airbus's Q1 results, I thought why not also take a look at that for some added depth into this coverage. The company announced that it is targeting a rate of 9 A350s by the end of 2025 and 4 of the A330s on its production standards. Airbus reported revenues of 11.8 billion euros. It's worth noting this is down 200 million euros from 2022's first quarter results. Airbus also saw 127 commercial aircraft delivered in the first quarter, again down from the 142 for the same period a year prior. This is a drop in many different avenues, however considering the operating climate is once more being cited as reasons, we at least have a better understanding as to why this has been happening. The Airbus chief executive officer commented on the news saying, We continue to face an adverse operating environment that includes, in particular, persistent tensions in the supply chain. Our 2023 guidance is unchanged, with commercial aircraft deliveries expected to be backloaded. We remain focused on delivering the commercial aircraft ramp up and longer term transformation. Despite lower than expected deliveries, I think one of the main talking points, aside from the A350F being delayed, is Airbus sticking to 720 commercial aircraft deliveries for this year. 
The guidance can change, it must be said, if the second quarter performance is lower than expected, which could very well take place, we would likely see an adjustment. Thus far, the industry continues to be massively unpredictable. And across the globe, airlines are continuing to prepare for delays in acquiring new aircraft from manufacturers. And it proves trying for airlines, as they're having to adjust schedules and deal with the negative implications of planes being delayed months upon months. If you have any thoughts, you can let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to check the description and or pin comment as well for the great deal from NordVPN, who are always consistently supporting the channel, which I know I very much appreciate as it keeps the lights on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And we'll fly.